in a remote location, he probably, like a, like a bank robber, has what we call a switch car. So he can jump into that other car, and nobody knows what it is, and he could, he could be miles, hundreds of miles away by now. You know, and I think he pre-planned that as well. There's probably some location where he has supplies stashed. He's a military guy, so he knows how to do that sort of thing, and he can lay low for quite a while. And this long gun that he was using, how yes. does he get his hands on that? I guess being a military guy, he's got, obviously, the capabilities to use it. Absolutely. I mean, you can construct your own, just order the parts. But, you know, if ever there were a case of red flags, this is it. He had clearly went to get help. He, was, he had ideations of shooting up his own National Guard unit. You know, he, this, clearly there was a mental health issue, and there was an issue of this person articulating, I'm going to go shoot something up. So this is where, you know, some sort, someone needs to step in and intervene. I, I, I'm, you know, I, I'm a conservative, but I, I want to see a red flag law in every state where this, this type of conduct can result in sheriff's department or someone's uh, just taking his weapons away. Right. So how did something like that get missed? It's, you know, everybody thinks somebody else is going to do something about it and nobody does anything about it. It's a very common situation. Nobody, people think, well, it's not for me to do this. It's not my job. You know, nobody thinks it's their job or their role. They pick up the phone and call somebody. But, you know, this is a situation where I, I would say just universe situation. Nobody, people think, well, it's not for me to do this. It's not my job. You know, nobody thinks it's their job or their role. They pick up the phone and call somebody. But, you know, this is a situation where I, I would say just universally, people that knew him dropped the ball. Uh, what do you want to say to the people of Maine right now who have gotten the rule to shelter in place, Chris, as this, uh, as this look for him continues? Yeah, absolutely. This person is lethal. And you, don't, uh, you want to make sure that you're, if you leave the house, you're extremely hyper aware. And if you see anything, pick up the phone and call 911 right away. I mean, I think this person has a plan. I don't think he's out there wandering about looking to carjack or invade a home, but you never know. And you know, as is, if he's desperate and he's got mental health issues, he could just do something random. He obviously wanted to kill people, children in that bowling alley. It was, it was children's night. So, so just lay low. Wow. Do what the police tell you to do. How much more difficult does this search become given the region that we're talking about? Uh, there's a river. Uh, it's swampy. There, there, there's lots of forests and trees in this area of, of Maine. Yeah, Maine it can be very rural. And if you know the woods and you know the area, you can find a place. And again, I think he prepositioned supplies. If he's going to you know, hang out in the, in the woods somewhere, he knows those woods better than anybody. It'll be a place that he's very familiar with. Or he has that switch car and he's, and he's far, far away. Yeah. All right, Chris, we'll keep watching and we'll 